Hey, this is Fibro Michelle, and I just wanted to expound on uh, this video. It was very well done. And unfortunately, people are not going to understand it unless they've been through some sort of pain. I look a bit worse than usual, if some of you have seen my earlier videos, because I got a new pain symptom that, you know, I go through so much pain every day. I didn't think I could get in any more, and I'll mention a few of my symptoms that are different from Holly's, but I, re I relate to everything she said. Um, lights hurt my eyes. Um, the sound of my washing machine. If somebody puts Clorox in, I gotta vacate my house, even if I'm too sick to get out of my bed. Um, trying to talk to someone and have them understand what you're telling them is amazing. So you just kind of stop, and uh, anyway, my new symptom was called the trigenomal. I think I'm saying it right, nerve. I didn't know that because for the first five days, I was too ill to pick up my computer, and I was all alone uh, all day long. My partner uh, worked from 4 in the morning till 10 at night, and I didn't know how to ask anyone for help. But I didn't have the energy to even call anybody or go to the doctor or and when I finally did, my doctor, of course, was out of town. And pain management, people uh, just think that you're a drug addict, so you can't get pain management unless you have a relationship with the doctor. So I was kind of stuck, you know, between a hard place. And so I did a little research, went to the Cleveland Clinic, because they say they help fibromyalgia. So I finally get some energy after a week, actually eight days of 24-7 alone in my room, with trigenomal nerve pain and uh, go to the Cleveland Clinic and they can't help me and then they say that uh, even though their website says they do so they are misleading and as soon as I get some energy <laughs> I'd like to fight with them about that and tell them take it off so nobody else has to waste their precious energy and time but trigenomal nerve syndrome is uh, have you ever had a cavity and then you had to go, where are my eyes? It's so dark in this room. Uh, you, then you had to go um, to the dentist and have a root canal. Well, every tooth felt like that. And before I've had glimpses of it, you know, it like one tooth would hurt for a while. And then it would just go away. So I never really thought too much about it. But last week, every tooth hurt on both sides. The air hurt my teeth. I couldn't drink water that hurt my teeth. I didn't eat. Damn, I should be skinny now, but I weigh more than I've ever weighed, and I don't eat anything but uh, real yogurt, Greek yogurt. <laughs> so it's not funny, but uh, so I laid here in the dark room. Um, my arms hurt too much to even uh, use the remote properly. I know some of you can't understand that. But people don't get it, and, you know, we lose our whole lives to this thing. It's not just like, uh, I don't know, you know, I have a neighbor that had breast cancer, and it was horrible, and she lost her breast and her hair and had to go through chemotherapy. You know what? That was four years ago, though. And now she's running around the neighborhood. Actually, it took her a year to feel better. I'm still here. I'm still in bed. I'm still in pain. So when people offer the cure, there are no cures. Magnesium, calcium helps your body calm down and settle down. Absolutely. But all these things, they're siphoning money from us. And we don't have it to begin with because we can no longer work. Um, people think we're just bitching and moaning, but oh my God. I'm going to post a video of what I used to be, and if you're interested, look at it. I was a singer in Key West on a stage. I worked uh, for Sunset, uh, had my own, wrote my own words, lyrics, played conga drums. Um, I did every benefit for every cause, AIDS, breast cancer, everything. Nobody's doing benefits for fibromyalgia, and hell, I don't have the energy anymore. But, uh, you know... Every time I see the walk for breast cancer, I'm like, that's a great thing, but I can't even walk around the block anymore. Where's the walk for fibromyalgia? You know? So if you see me getting mad in some of my videos, well, that's only a part of me. But 
I started doing this just to vent, and then people, I don't know, people saw that it's okay to be angry because there's no nothing really going on with this. It's a lot of false promises. It's a lot of misinformation. I mean, you lose your friendships. I mean, I, I went to, out to dinner with my uh, girlfriend and a friend that is a massage therapist, so I thought she kind of knew what fibromyalgia went. And we go to her new apartment. She goes, well, let's walk to the restaurant. It was four blocks away. I barely made it up her steps because she has a bi-level apartment <laughs> just didn't get it and then you know we were talking like we talk and it's like people complain because they're tired you know she worked all day then she had to go to the mall and then pick up her dry cleaning and complained about it and it's okay you know that's life people do that but I can't even do that I mean I just looked at her and I said you know what I haven't been able to go to work or go to the mall, or do any of that for about six years now. So that sounds like amazing to me. People don't realize that you lose yourself. You lose your life. Your parents don't understand you. And it does run in the family. My grandmother, she called it migraines. She was in her bedroom four days out of seven but still managed to get up and run the home and take care of the, the family and nobody got it nobody understood and my younger sister had it and she put a gun to her mouth and shot herself check back on some of my other videos I do talk about quite a bit of it and uh, police people <laughs> Don't get in any trouble because they'll think that you're intoxicated or drunk. Then they'll try to grab your arms. And my arms feel like um, somebody is holding my thumbs and pulling them back every minute of every hour. Even when I'm sleeping, I may get two hours of sleep. But it's that sleep where you're having a bad dream like when you have a flu or something. And then I wake up. And then the pain is horrendous. I take a pill. And then I have to wait for an hour before I can move again. So this disease takes your life. And it bothers me when someone says they found a cure. I paid nine ninety nine for one of those side article things, you know, on YouTube. A guy found it. And he gave great information for about 10 pages. And thank God he had to get money your, your money back. Because at the end, he just said um, that he stopped drinking milk. That was his big revelation. Well, I'm 43 now, and I believe I've had this disease my whole life because uh, at 10 years old, I was probably about the same size I am. Yeah, I took a lot of teasing. They called me Moose. Thanks, Utah. And uh, I started my menstrual period when I was 10. And I looked 18 when I was 13 and I was uh, a manager at a Derwiner Schnitzel. I was 13 managing women my own age, which is 43 now. And everybody called it growing pains, even though I had to have leg braces, even though my um, ears, I guess my eardrum busted a few times. I don't know, my mother's no longer talking to me because, <laughs> because she's like the rest of everybody that doesn't understand but she's basically just a selfish person uh, my younger brother just died he was very ill I saw him at Christmas time and I told her that he didn't look it and she needed to lay off of him and he fell down and hit his head and he's dead why I'm alive I don't know but maybe I'm alive to help everybody else and if I piss people off on the way to do it it's okay because you know when you anger someone they remember you more if you're just all nice and pleasant, they forget you. But, I don't know. Anyway, this is Fiber Hall Michelle responding. Everyone, keep up the good works. I love when you write to me. I mean, it's like, when you give me those responses that I helped you, it makes me get through another day. And after trigenital nerve pain, I couldn't get in the shower. I still can't wash my own hair. I haven't been able to in about four years because of the pain in my arms. But, you know, people still say I look good, can't be sick, even the ones that say they think they know about fibro.